Hello children. Yesterday we discussed about Khushwan Singh and his grandmother. As I told you, this is a pen portrait of his grandmother. This chapter. Khushwan Singh talks about his uh, grandmother when he used to stay along with him. How grandmother used to look after him. How he enjoyed. the company of grandmother when he was very small grandmother used to wake him up take him to school how they grandmother used to sit in the temple and come back in the evening along with him all this we have uh, just discussed in the previous video now i am going to give you the uh, story outline of the second half of the chapter now what happens is as i told you that grandmother when he started studying uh, grand when uh, now previously grandmother used to understand what was taught in the school now he was unable she was unable to understand what was taught in the school she <laughs> hated english and science she also hated music she used to think that the music is good only for prostitutes and beggars this we have studied this you have listened now i'm continuing with the idea inherent in the chapter the narrator went to the university he was given a room of his own the common link of their friendship was broken the grandmother accepted her loneliness quietly <coughs> she busied herself with her spinning wheel she talked rarely she relaxed only in the afternoon she enjoyed herself while feeding the sparrows she would sit in the veranda she broke the bread into the bits and threw them to the sparrows hundreds of sparrows collected around her they created a hell of noise some came and sat on her legs the others perched on her old shoulders she never drove them away feeding the sparrows was the happiest half hour of the day for her then the narrator decided to go abroad for higher studies the grandmother was not upset she came to drop him at the railway station she didn't show any emotion she kissed his forehead silently the narrator thought that it was the last sign of physical contact between them <coughs> the narrator returned home after 5 years the grandmother did not look a day older in the evening a change came over her she didn't pray she collected all the women of the neighborhood she took an old drum and started singing she continued thumping the old drum for several hours she sang of the home coming of warriors they had to persuade her to stop singing and beating of the drum could make her tired for the first time she did not pray the next morning she fell ill she declared that her end was near she didn't want to waste any more time talking to them she lay peacefully in bed She continued praying and telling her beads then her lips stopped moving the rosary fell down from her lifeless fingers she was dead she was laid on the ground her dead body was covered with a red shroud in the evening the sun was setting they brought a wooden stretcher they stopped half way in the courtyard thousands of sparrows sat near her dead body they did not chill Everyone felt sorry for the birds. The narrator's mother brought bread and broke it into little crumbs. She threw those crumbs to them. The birds took no notice of them. When they carried her dead body outside, the sparrows flew away quietly. Now, children, I would like to tell you the summarize the main points of the story. as it goes the i have discussed the whole idea in this youtube video 
here the i have summarized the whole idea of the story now i would like to tell you some main points of the story just listen to it it will help you now the first point is the narrator's grandmother had been old and wrinkled for 20 years next is she was her personality is described she had always been short fat slightly bent she moved about the house in spotless white clothes her one hand rested on her waist to balance her stoop with the other hand she was always telling the beads of her rosary the grandmother and the narrator were good friends his parents left him with her when they went to the city she woke him up in the morning and got him ready for school she went to school with him because the school was attached to the temple the narrator's parents sent for them in the city it was a turning point in their friendship next point the grandmother didn't like the english school nor she did she like science and music being taught at the new school now as the years rolled by they did not see each other they saw less of each other then the narrator went to the university the common link of friendship was broken from sun grandmother was alone at home from sunrise to sunset she sat by her wheel spinning and reciting prayers only in the afternoon did she relax for a while to speed the sparrows hundreds of little birds collected around her it was the happiest half hour of the day for her she came to see him off at the railway station when the narrator went abroad for further studies silently she kissed his forehead the narrator thought that it was his last meeting with her after 5 years when he came back home she received him at the station she looked at the same she looked the same as earlier she collected the women of the neighborhood she celebrated the homecoming of her grandson by thumping an old drum and singing songs she even forgot to pray she overtired herself and fell ill she told that her end was quite near she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads she died in the afternoon her dead body was put on a stretcher thousands of sparrows sat scattered on the floor there was no chirping by them they were really mourning the narrator's mother threw small crumbs of bread to the sparrows but the sparrows took no notice of them they flew away quietly when her dead body was carried off okay children i hope you have understood the chapter in the live class i will have more discussions on this thank you